Hi everyone, this is Caleb from the Digital Media Center, and today we have a new tool to introduce, the Cricut Maker Vinyl Cutter. This will be a short video walkthrough of the Vinyl Cutter, an explanation of why the Vinyl Cutter might be useful in your projects, and a bunch of the tools that you have at your disposal when using one. So we'll not cover everything that you could possibly do with a Vinyl Cutter, so if you're interested in learning more, come talk to us at the DMC on the third floor of the ENVD building. Okay, so let's take a look at the main parts of the Vinyl Cutter. It's really pretty simple. First, we have the cutting pad. These pads have a light adhesive on them that allows them to hold onto materials and keep them flat when they're being cut. There are different cutting pads for different materials, though most of our materials will work with this blue pad. The pink pad is useful when dealing with items like fabric that might want to stretch or tear more than something like paper or vinyl. Next, we have the cutting head, which has an assortment of tools that we can insert, including small blades, scoring pens, regular markers, large blades, fabric blades, and more. There are a few buttons on the top, and the two main ones we'll work with are the feed button and the cricket button. The feed button simply feeds or releases the cutting mat and material from the machine, and the cricket button is the button that's pushed when the job is ready to cut. Alongside those, we obviously have our power button and then our pause job button. Finally, we have tool storage. Not only do we have a few slots over on the left side of the cricket, which can be used to store things like pens and X-Acto knives or spare cutting tools, but we also have a tray underneath the surface of the Cricut that stores things like our squeegee, weeding tool, scissors, and other accessories. This also has a magnetic cutting blade storage area. All right, so now that we've gone over the basic parts of the Cricut, let's talk about what we can make with it. The Cricut may commonly be used for cutting things like vinyl and can achieve excellent detail without burning materials like a laser might. Speaking of which, there's a good reason to use a vinyl cutter as opposed to a laser, and that's that vinyl cannot be cut on a laser. Vinyl will release toxic fumes that can not only damage a laser cutter, but are extremely hazardous and potentially lethal if we breathe them in. This is one of the many reasons that you'll never see someone cutting stickers with a laser cutter. Vinyl cutters can be used for printed stickers, vinyl stickers and decals, adhesive stencils, custom clothing iron-ons, pre-scored fold marks on origami, foil art, and much more. There are so many uses for a vinyl cutter, and now we have access to one. In the next video, I'll show you how to submit a vinyl cutter job to Papercut and the whole process of creating a two-layer vinyl sticker. We will have future videos on how to make all sorts of other items with the vinyl cutter as well. Thanks!